Well, my shirt probably gives it away, but I'm not really Irish at all. But that certainly is not going to stop me from enjoying Killian's, I mean, Slane's Irish style red ale. Hey y'all, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. I'm hoping this is going up on St. Patrick's Day, or thereabouts. Um, red ales. Irish ales. What are they? Why are they so dang good? Uh, so, to begin with, Irish red ales, or, or beer in Ireland, is a thing. Duh. It's a big thing. It's been around there for a long time. Modern Irish-style red ales have very little to do with historic Irish beer styles, but they do originate in Ireland. Uh, a lot of y'all, if you're familiar with Irish style red ales in the US, you are probably familiar with Killian's from the 80s, 90s, 2000s. That was actually one of my very early favorite beers. It was also one of the first beers that uh, we cooked with. My wife would use Killian's to make, um, well, several things. And it was always amazing. You'd come home to this, like, smelling like fresh bread, but it was a roast. <laughs> good stuff. Really, really good stuff. It's harder to find Killian's these days. I don't know if it's actually gone entirely. But Killian's was actually a, a creation of Coors Brewing, Miller Coors, and was an early success of theirs trying to break into the growing, but at that time, infant uh, craft brew, craft beer market. Killian's was a very good beer. Nowadays, its closest uh, equivalent is probably Smithwick's, which is apparently also what you'll find in Ireland, made by Diageo, which is a, a global alcohol, liquor, beer uh, company. Um, I can find Smithwick's pretty easily most places. Uh, I believe I've even seen it in like Walmart at times. So it's, it's a pretty well distributed beer. But today I have in or Diamond Knot. Uh, it's not industrial. Sorry, I might have said industrial before. Um, Diamond Knot's Slane's Irish Style Red Ale, which is an Irish style ale. It is not brewed in Ireland. It is simply Irish style. Uh, first, red ales. Um, they are characterized by by a moderately roasted malt that produces the majority of the color. In particular, Irish-style red ales are characterized by that uh, roasted malt producing a kind of a dry finish and very minimal hopping. Very, very, very little hopping. The malt should be sweet in general, and it should be a nice, tasty... They're actually known for being kind of delicate, I guess, uh, according to the definitions I read earlier. And that would, that would, would agree with my own experience. Um, yeah, so this is not my first time drinking the Slane's Irish style red ale. I had a four pack and now I have two left. <laughs> Granted, one of them was my wife enjoying it and the other one was, my, was myself enjoying it yesterday. Um, good beers. I like them. I enjoy it quite a lot. And uh, I'm going to share that enjoyment with you now. This smells sweet. Uh, that, that sweet maltiness. It's there in the nose, in spades. There's almost a, a minty herbalness, just, just the slightest hint of it, coming over this like, like sweet brown bread, going back to, what is it, Texas Roadhouse, or um, one of the steakhouses that serves bread before your meal. They have like a, a, a dark brown bread that has like oats, roll oats on the top, that bread. That's what this reminds me of. It's it's dark, but sweet. Uh, really, really inviting smell. And it's not it's not like syrup sweet, right? When you're thinking about bread sweetness, it's it's the breadiness. There's definitely sugars in there: honey, molasses, other sugars. And there's the wheat, the, the grain itself, the flowers itself that have a bit of a sweetness to it. And those work together very nicely to this very smooth sweetness. Yeah, it smells good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dive in, you know. 
I'm just gonna dive in. The sweetness continues. It tastes like it smells. But once again, it's that malty, bready sweetness, not just syrups. Uh, this isn't, uh, you know, a super aged stout or a wee heavy from Scotland. This is a red ale. It has a very pronounced malt character. Malt is the thing that is the thing in this beer, right? And the the way that malt is roasted is just all there you have the dark bread sweetness then you have this really 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 nice and welcome because of the sweetness bitter almost almost coffee but not quite kind of roasted uh, character there that finishes up that comes in just a second or two after the sweetness and then after you swallow you're left with the taste have you ever ate like fresh bread, like fresh out of the oven? Like it's been baked in the last hour kind of bread. Super, super fresh, good bread. After you eat it, you have that, that just that breadiness, that bready character left in your mouth. And you both want to take another bite because that bread was so gosh darn good. But you also want to enjoy the fact that what's left in your mouth is good on its own and in its own right. That's the flavor you're left with with this. That that just malty, bready, super, super nice character. It's no longer sweet. I mean, there is a sweetness to it, but it's mostly the grains, the malts you're tasting there, and they're just so good. I would say that if, if you're unsure what malt can bring to a beer, this is a really good beer to taste that in. I'm trying to think if I've had the like the Black Raven Cora Four malts. I believe I have. I think it might have been um, a Bach, a Doppelbach, uh, a year or two ago from them. I can't remember if I have it on the channel, if this was before I was recording. Um, it was probably after. But I would, I would say that this, while it's not intended to be a malt highlighting beer specifically, just the style highlights the malt. And you can taste the malt, and it's so, so, so good in here. And that's what's great about this beer. I mean, drink it with your corned beef and cabbage or whatever, and enjoy yourself. It's going to be good whatever it goes with. It's not so sweet that it'll throw off a good meal. It'll pair nicely with things. Um, but you can also just drink it on its own, by itself, because it's that good. And uh, on that... Uh, perhaps enthusiastic note. This is me, Matthew, chewing the brew, drinking Slane's Irish-style red ale by Diamond Knot Brewing, and I will see y'all on the flip side. <laughs>